Well, good morning, kinfolk family. How you guys doing? I hope y'all doing great. Or as well as I am, I am doing fantastic. <laughs> it's finally my off day. The times start to change on us. What you got? You got a stick? Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Come here. <laughs> well, the times start to change. And I, when I leave in the dark, get home right at dark. So I haven't been able to video anything with the house build. Uh, been out, I got up first thing this morning and started shaking all the vines uh, in the Muscadine Vineyard. The small vineyard is done. I got it done. Uh, I'm a little over halfway done with the uh, big vineyard. <laughs> I'm soaking wet from all the dew. Uh, but I'm, I'm running limited on time. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do today. But all the workers will be here shortly. It's 8 o'clock. So I just wanted to show you guys what's going on with the house build. Well, the little pad we graded out the other day, uh, the other evening with the tractor is down. It looks great. They had some paper down to keep it clean, but apparently they took it up once they took the little side running boards off the forms. I don't know why they did that, but with our stairs are built. That's looking great. Stairs are built. The handrails are going in. They're starting to do those. Uh, I, they started last night or yesterday, and we're super excited about that. They started wrapping all our poles. They got the poles being wrapped. I believe they've done all those. They're starting to put in, like I say, our handrails. It's looking great. I'll show you some of our handrails here in a second. But also, they started putting on our side. And, and it is looking good. The downstairs in the back is almost done. But like I said, I think they just started all this yesterday. But it's coming along great. And I believe this is that hardy board. I'm sure some of you guys are wondering. I believe it's that hardy board. It's that concrete stuff. We really like it. Uh, the roof will be vinyl. We're going to do a vinyl roof and the hardy plank on the side. And all this is a hardy type. Plank, I think I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> like, I, like I say, I'm a truck driver. I'm not a construction worker. I don't know what none of this stuff. Uh, and my wife, my wife and my builder's been together doing all this. I picked out the handrails and I like them. I picked out some steel type handrails because the last ones on our last house, I absolutely hated. They're going to be a square type top to go all the way around. Uh, I absolutely hated the last one. They were them little one by one square pickets. I hated them. Uh, they were they might have been nice at first for the first while, but our house was 20 years, 30 about 30 years old, and they were all falling off. And every time the kid, grandkids they want to hang on, so they would knock them down, and it was always I hated them. And then you have to worry about painting them. They're just painting, but these all I got to do is pressure wash them. I'll be good to go. But yeah. Uh, I want to take you guys inside <laughs> and show you the inside as well. Uh, I'm supposed to pick up some carpet samples for my wife while I'm over here. I almost forgot about that. I need to pick up some carpet samples for her. But yeah, it's looking good. It's going to look great. Super excited. We'll go in here and see if I can just this light turned on. All right, well, I'll show you guys. Uh, the workers just showed up. I had to go put the dogs up there. Everybody's terrified of the dogs. We got our insulation in. It looks great. No, we did not go with spray foam. We went with just regular insulation. <laughs> I had so many people say, here's my carpet samples. I got to take them with me. I had so many people say, do the spray foam. Look, we're on a budget. Insurance is not paying for this entire house. <laughs> we're paying for some of it. And uh, insurance, uh, I mean, uh, insulation wasn't in the budget. And uh, we really don't worry about, it. worry about it all that much as far as being super cold, man. We're in South Georgia. It don't get all that cold, maybe a couple of weeks a year. But they started putting in the sheetrock. Our, our rooms are starting to look like rooms now. This is our, this is the master bedroom, I should have said before I walked in. This is the master bedroom. They're putting in the sheetrock, all in the ceilings. It's uh, starting to look like a house now. Finally, finally, like I say, the, I said before, the uh, electric's in, the plumbing's in, the HVAC is all in. Here's our closet. It's 
it's really looking good we are super pumped bathroom you can tell that this is a shower now uh, <laughs> and that is kim's bathroom it's going to be where their soaking tub is she'll have a light hanging up we went out and picked out lights and stuff this weekend but that's it guys it's looking good they got uh i'm not sure what the workers are probably waiting on me to get the heck out of here but they got sheetrock waiting. Today going to be a busy day. Hopefully they'll get the rest of this stuff knocked out. All right. Well, that's it. We've had our call for a hot tub. They're already trying to deliver some our hot tub. We knew that was coming. They're trying to hurry up and get us to bring it over here. But our builder said wait till mid-November. Wait till everything's almost done. He said, you don't want to bring that in here right now. But it's looking good. I'm blown away at how the handrails are going to look. They're really going to look good. It's going to be pretty, pretty. Hopefully they'll have it done by the day. And uh, I can come out with another video to show you guys what it looks like. But these guys work. I mean, it's 8 o'clock. They just rolled in. And they work till dark. Till right at dark. When I get home, uh, it's almost dark. Kim goes, yeah, they just left. So we're over here with flashlights looking to see what they've done. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the house, Bill. I'm a little tired of uh, walking the dogs all the way up here. Shaking them vines is about to kill me. Uh, if you guys have muscadines still on the vine and uh, you're done picking and all that, Get them off the vine. There's a little muscadine tip. Get them off the vine. You don't want to leave your muscadines rotting over the winter on the vine. It could cause disease in your vines. There's your little extra muscadine tip. <laughs> Thanks, guys.